I think the look that I'm wearing today is a sort of classic British design mixed with something a little bit more edgy. I've got one of my favourite fashion items on, which is a tweed jacket that I got in Edinburgh. I'm a sketch comedian, so I spend a lot of time in Edinburgh. <laughs> I think some of my friends would probably say I spend far too much time on my appearance, and that's probably true. Um, but I think from a young age, I've always been style conscious, fashion conscious. Um, you know, my finger's definitely on the, on the fashion pulse. Sketch comedy has afforded me a certain lifestyle and a certain means of affording some of the nicer things, like Paul Smith. I think if a stranger spotted me on the street, they would see someone who dresses confidently, but also with a sense of humor. I think it's so important in fashion to have a sense of humor, because so many people take it so seriously. At school, my style was more urban, more contemporary. One of my prized clothing items, possessions, was my naf naf puffer jacket and leather um, Africa sign. I mean, I wouldn't be seen dead in that now. I went Paul Smith, but at the time that's what I wore. I do get people who stop me on the street, occasionally they're scouts, fashion scouts, but it's unlike a model of duty, it's not something I want to get into right now. When I look in the mirror, I see disheveled elegance. <laughs> I see an urban gentleman. I see someone who doesn't take themselves too seriously, but has class. <laughs> I can't even think about what I would be if, if it wasn't for sketch comedy. It's something in the back of your mind you, you have to wrestle with, because what if it all ends? What if this dream comes to an end? What would I be? Maybe something, you know, in a charity. Maybe a doctor. If I was the opposite sex, I think I'd go for something which was less classic, a bit more individualistic. Kate Moss is a huge inspiration to a lot of women, and I think I'd take my inspiration from those women who are inspired by Kate. You name it, Soho's got it. Sex, drugs, coke. Strap the feeding mask over your mouth and press once for scrambled egg or twice for hot soup. Bye.